Hey guys, this is the first episode of Blender 3.3 new hair series and today we're going to get give you an overview of the, the new hair system. So let's get into it. Okay. So with the new hair system, the first thing you gotta know is that the new hair system is a totally new revamped curves uh, system. It, 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 if you just press shift A, you might have seen these curve menus and you can always add this bezier and um, this nerves curves or a path of bezier curves. And these curves still exist, but just add them and just focus on them for a second. Um, oh, it's tiny. My character is humongous. Okay, it's all right. Um, so we have this kind of curve here. This is the old curve system. Okay, just for the time being, I'm just going to put this marker here so we can see. What we're doing. Okay, and um, th that's the old curve system. So the new curve system, though, can be added by pressing Shift A on the curves. If you if you're using Blender 3.3, you'll be able to see uh, the new curve system has this option called empty hair so that's what the new curve system is now you don't have to use this for hair but you, it's generally meant to be for hair okay um, and if you press shift a and you click here empty hair as soon as you do that it's gonna add um, an object called curves this new curve object and then it's going to parent that to the body here Okay, so this body model, let me just go into this mode so it's a bit faster to see. And then it's going to add a geometry node through the modifier. So there's three things happening. It adds the curves, automatically parents it to the object because I had the object selected. And then it uh, adds this surface deform geometry node. You need an active mesh to do it in order for it to automatically bind to the active mesh. Add the empty hair and immediately we see the curves added and we have automatically selected it. Let's rename this to uh, hair, okay? Uh, just to stay organized. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is that on the menu, here you have something called object property menu called, um, uh, it just kind of looks like hair, the same symbol as this. And it has a couple of different options here. First of all, it has these attributes, which is there from the uh, geometry nodes and it also has the surface properties as well right now it just has the surface and UV map okay so what's happening here exactly is that when you add a hair to this model okay it immediately only has these two properties now obviously the surface property is basically the object that the hair is binded to now if I just go to scalp mode which I'll talk about in a minute and just add a few here so that we can see what we have here is a surface so this is the object that it's bound to and if you if you don't have an object you, you definitely want to add this object otherwise you won't really be able to add this properly and then there's the UV map the UV map is important for certain functions like slide if you don't have a UV map on the object you won't be able to add this so both of these things have to be true so you have to have an object and you have to UV unwrap the model before you add the curve, uh, the new hair system. So those are the two sort of important things you got to remember. Okay. Now, once you've added this, you can see immediately we have new attributes because we've added some new hairs, and that's pretty much all there is to this menu. Now, in the future, I believe under surface you probably start to see more parameters being exposed in this surface section i think that's the plan i'm not 100 percent sure on this okay uh the next thing we're gonna just take a quick look at is um the, ge the geometry node itself so right now you can see that in the modifier tab we've already added this surface deformed geometry node so let's take a quick look at this as well okay if i go to the geometry nodes well, window you can see here this is a really simple geometry node system. All it is, is it's a group input. So we take the geometry input. We have a node called deform curves on surface and an output. But remember, you guys can just go to town editing this as much as you want, because you could just add stuff. For example, in this curve menu by pressing shift A, you can add a few things. You can set the curve radius is a common one. You could use these spline parameters so you have the uh, 
the factor so you can just probably use a factor instead uh, the point is you can you can probably just edit this uh, you want uh, as much as you want and just add as, as many crazy stuff as you can even resample the curve which is another pop popular thing this gives you a lot of control from the uh, geometry nodes the last thing we're going to talk about and we already kind of touched on this a little bit when you when you, when you select the hairs you can control uh, the sort of the 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 object modes the modes here change and you can have only two modes one is object mode and scope mode okay and in scope mode you have a couple of different options you can add hair like this you can delete hairs you can increase the density of hairs you can comb them so you can kind of comb them this way this is really cool you can snake hook can grow and shrink overall you can pinch them so that they sort of clump together you can puff them up you can smooth them out and you can even just slide the hairs cool so these are the options and 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 there's also a new kind of selection mode that allows you to select by painting you can also change the selection from you know points to the entire hair hair itself and this kind of helps you or you can press double a twice to select everything you can also select there's also selection modes here where you can invert the selection random select and so on um, there's also a curves menu which allows you to in case you like once you've created the hair grooms if you just decide to sculpt on top of this from the mesh itself you can click snap uh, to deform surface so if you've already sculpted or changed the surface shape you can snap this so that the hair will snap to the surface original points on the surface again or you can also use snap to nearest surface so it'll just snap to the nearest position as well that's another option and finally there's an option to convert back to the old particle system so let's just say that this is the hairstyle you wanted you can convert it back to the old particle system and it'll create a new new uh, the object will remain but a particle system will be added to the hair which will just pretty much mimic this entirely and you can also convert the old particle system into the hair so we'll talk about these things a little bit later as well in detail but that's just an overview so in the next video i'm going to go over the sculpting modes and every single tool you see here i'm going to go over in detail including all these menus over here and what they do what they mean and how it works and i'll show you in real time what's happening so stay tuned for that thank you very much for watching and uh, i'll catch you in the next one